Have you ever thought, there's got to be a better and simpler way to learn organizational strategies? 5 Minutes Learning has a global and diverse collection of case studies to help management students click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our upcoming and interesting case studies. Unilever was the global market leader in the tea industry in 2007. As a vertically integrated company, it was present from production to commercialization. With around 12% of the world's total black tea production, Unilever was a strong player in the market. Globally, Lipton had a market share nearly three times greater than its nearest competitor. As one of Unilever's 12 major brands, Lipton was available in 110 countries. Lipton's sales in 2007 were 3 billion euros. Unilever was also the leader in packed tea in India with the brand Brook Bond. The Indian market consumed approximately 25% of the world's tea sales. The tea market has always been oversupplied, which has led to a downward trend in prices. Falling tea prices may seem like good news for tea drinkers, but they create an economic downward spiral that threatens the long-term health of the industry. Over the last three decades, commoditization, falling prices, and rising primary production costs have undermined investments and improvements in tea plantations. Growth conditions and the livelihoods of growers were hindered by low margins and underinvestment, which jeopardized productivity and quality. Even though there were structural problems in the market, Unilever expected a sustained increase in demand in the future as a result of consumer trends that had already emerged, including the growing perception of tea as a healthy beverage, which was causing consumers to switch to tea instead of other drinks. Tea bags also gained popularity in developing and emerging markets where most people traditionally made tea from loose leaves. Tea value chains are highly vertically integrated. Upstream and downstream production stages, including plantation ownership, are controlled by major companies. Tea's value chain is significantly shorter and less fragmented than the value chains of other commodities such as cocoa and coffee. The market is therefore dominated by a few large players. Tea factories, the first critical node of the value chain, are usually located close to tea plantations. This is because primary processing of the tea leaves should start within 5 to 7 hours of picking. As tea is mostly traded at auctions, it may be difficult to gather market information because quality, quantity, and demand vary greatly, and a few brokers control the market. The most lucrative sections of the value chain of tea like blending, packaging, and marketing are usually carried out by countries where the products are bought. The Lipton brand was not perceived as a vibrant, shiny brand in 2005. So in 2005, Unilever developed the brand imprint exercise to fuel brand innovation and create competitive advantage. It was a stepping stone in Unilever's evolving approach to corporate branding. And so, Lipton became one of the first two Unilever brands to run the brand imprint exercise. An integrated analysis of Lipton's footprint across the value chain took place for about four months. In the process, they identified significant business opportunities for linking brand preference to sustainability in the tea market. Meanwhile, market research shows that consumers in key markets are increasingly concerned about sustainability, and it could potentially be turned into an effective differentiator factor when effectively communicated to consumers. For Lipton's brand to be valued as credible, consumers needed to understand its connection to sustainable tea growing. Although Lipton self declares that it is a sustainable company, consumers may not necessarily believe it. So, the Lipton brand team sought a third-party certification scheme. Meanwhile, Rainforest Alliance certification, which ensures compliance with sustainable agriculture network standards, turned out to be the best match. After Lipton decided to go with this certification, they decided to seek the green light from Unilever's top management to go mainstream.
Lipton proposed converting the whole brand to certified sustainable tea production. In other words, Lipton's tea bags would be made from tea grown on Rainforest Alliance certified farms. It contrasts with the typical approach of introducing variant brands to market sustainable food and beverages. Since sustainable products differ from the main product line by certification, as well as price, the introduction of a variant brand tends to create a niche market. By definition, niche markets have a limited reach and invariably lead to a situation in which the majority of consumers continue to purchase standard products. When a company sustains only a variant brand, it generally benefits a small number of farmers. Many of the others, however, do not benefit economically, socially, or environmentally. A variant brand can neither change mainstream brand positioning nor create long-term value because it lacks a strong link to the brand. Lipton's team had a difficult time internally selling the crucial concept of mainstreaming, which is paying a premium for sustainable tea while maintaining the retail price. It was the anticipated growth in market share that provided the solution, through that growth, additional supply chain costs could be recovered. Another challenge was that Unilever executives questioned whether competitors could capture market share. Their argument was that sustainability would no longer be a competitive advantage if other major tea brands switched to certified tea. In Lipton's view, it was the positive economic impacts of shifting the entire industry to certified tea that provided the answer for Unilever. The next topic of discussion was the timeline for converting to sustainable tea. Lipton had to work on an accelerated schedule in order to secure the benefits of being a first mover. Rather than focusing on the traditional approach of pilot projects, they proposed leapfrogging to the mainstream and converting all Western European tea sold into Rainforest Alliance certified tea within three years. In the end, Lipton's team got the buy-in from Unilever's top executives. They planned that, by 2010, the tea in all Unilever mainstream tea bags in Western Europe would be sourced from Rainforest Alliance certified farms. By 2015, the tea in all Lipton tea bags sold globally would be sourced from Rainforest Alliance certified farms. The key element for the success of the initiative would be to hit the road working concurrently on supply chain and market rollout, with perfect synchronization. Thank you so much for listening to this video. Do not forget to subscribe this YouTube channel for receiving updates about my upcoming case study videos.